What's up, y'all? Today's video is how I go from this to this. Stay tuned to this video to see how I got back from that straight hair to my beautiful curls. What? Damn it. All right, so step one is going to be the pre-poo, and this is actually a pre-shampoo treatment that I do before I cleanse my hair after it's been straight for the week or two weeks. So this time I'm using coconut oil, but you can use any awesome oil that you have on hand to do this, or even a conditioner or a deep conditioner. I prefer coconut oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my hair, and then quickly braid my hair up before I head to the gym. You can put your hair in a bun or whatever you feel is necessary to protect your hair while you're doing whatever you need to do while it is setting. So now my hair is braided up and honestly, I would wear this out for a day or two. Today, I'm only going to go work out with my hair like this and keep it in for maybe a couple hours and then going through with the cleansing process and everything like that. So usually I would do like an overnight pre-poo or something like that, but even if you only have like 30 minutes or 40 minutes or so to pre-poo your hair do it it makes such a difference so I am done I'm going to go work out really quickly and then when I'm done working out I'll wash this out and go through with the cleansing process which is going to be the next step okay y'all so I just got done working out and this oil has been in my hair for probably about an hour and a half two hours now and so I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse my hair and start conditioning so I'm going to show you guys what I'm cleansing with today so I'm just using this design essentials gentle balance shampoo it's a sulfate free shampoo but I do want to tell you guys whenever you're wearing a straight style or a heated style and you're using serums and things with heavy amounts of dimethicone so that your hair doesn't revert back and stuff like that throughout the week whenever you do have a straight style so all of the hairsprays and the dry shampoos and the serums and stuff like that that I've used all week it are on my hair so I want to cleanse all of that out and so I'm actually not going to be able to do that with this it's really really important that when you're going from a straight style back to curly that you thoroughly cleanse your hair and so today I am going to be using this sulfate free shampoo but I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow and so I'm going to ask her to use a sulfate shampoo on my hair whenever we are styling it because I know I'm still gonna have some product buildup from this last two weeks that I've had my hair straight but it's okay that I'm not getting it all out today but I will get it out tomorrow and then I'm going to go ahead and deep condition and steam with this so I'm gonna be using the Myel Organics Babasu Oil Mint Deep Conditioner it's a protein conditioner and I'm adding also this extra dark Jamaican black castor oil and Africare glycerin. So this is 100% vegetable glycerin. This is going to basically keep all the moisture that I'm putting into my hair through this deep conditioning process into my hair. It's a humectant, so it's going to attract moisture. And so I always add glycerin to my deep conditioners because it really just helps kind of give that extra push of moisture retention when I'm deep conditioning my hair. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix my ingredients together and I'm just using the rest of this protein conditioner that I have. I don't even know how much it is in quantifiable measurements, but I'm adding about a tablespoon of the black castor oil and then grabbing my glycerin and adding about a half a tablespoon of that. While you're mixing these, it really doesn't matter about the consistency too much as long as your conditioner is the largest majority and then you're just adding in whatever oil and ingredients that you want.
so now that we have applied our deep conditioner very very generously I'm gonna go ahead and put my cap on now if you don't have a steamer at home or a hooded dryer you can just leave your hair like this and just wear this cap and if you really want an extra element of heat to help your deep condition really get in there you can take a damp warm towel and wrap it around your head with this on so that's gonna create kind of like that steam effect without having a steamer and you leave this on for about 20 to 30 minutes and honestly like I know a lot of people like to deep condition overnight and things like that but I've read in a few places that honestly that doesn't really do much for you uh, because the product once it's penetrated it's it's kind of like one of those things like it does it's like you think that the longer you keep it on the better but a lot of times once the conditioner is in there you really don't need to use it more than like an hour or so so it really doesn't make that much of a difference whether you're wearing it for an hour or overnight a lot of times so what really matters is the type of conditioners you're using how often you're conditioning and stuff like that so I'm putting this on and what I'm gonna do actually is put some holes in here because when I sit under my steamer I want to get as much direct steam to my hair as possible and so I just rip holes in this and obviously um, you can buy these these are super cheap I get like 20 of them in a pack or whatever or 10 for like a dollar or two at the beauty supply so each time I deep condition I am you know throwing one of these away but you know I'm just poking holes in here so that the steam can actually get in there and another thing is when you deep condition and you're steaming or you're sitting under a dryer to help your deep conditioner really penetrate don't ball your hair up so um I used to do that. I used to just put my hair in a bun and then send it to the dryer or the steamer and it really makes it even harder for all of your hair to get really steamed or moisturized and so it's better if you can have like I did these loose these loose twists or even just like your hair undone and just in a cap if you can do that um, is better. So for me my hair is pretty long so I don't like being all messy and stuff so I always do this but if you have shorter hair and you don't mind a little bit of drippage you can go under the steamer just without a cap or anything and that's even better because it's all directly hitting your hair so now I'm gonna go sit under my steamer and then get back to you guys all right y'all we are under the steamer and I absolutely love steaming my hair it is just so awesome and does so many things as you guys can see here and the steamer that I'm using here is the Red Pro Hair Therapy Steamer. I got this at a beauty supply for about 80 bucks. You can also get this off of Amazon and there are other branded hair steamers out there as well. About halfway through my steaming process, I realized that the bottom of my hair was not getting as much heat. So I decided to clip my ends towards the top of my head so I could get more of that heat directly hitting my hair and skipped out on the cap. Now we are done deep conditioning. Uh, as you can see, you can't see any product in my hair, which is the goal. When you're deep conditioning, you want all of your hair to just soak in everything that you put in with the deep conditioner. And that is exactly what has happened with my hair right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out. I'm not gonna shampoo again. I'm gonna just rinse this out and then style my hair. Yes, and the curls are back like they never left. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun doing it for you guys. And until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye. And if you guys missed out on my curly the straight tutorial, go ahead and click here to watch that now. <laughs>